Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 7 of our understanding the ABC of Docker video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about an introduction to Docker Compose. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 6 since this part is going to have many similarities from that part. Alright, so let's get started. What is this Docker Compose? The Docker Compose is a tool for defining and running multi-container Docker applications. With Compose, you can use a Compose file to configure your application's services. Then using a single command, you can create and start all the services from your configurations. If you remember in our previous videos, for starting a container service or for linking a container service, we have to write so many commands. And basically, if you kind of running three or four containers, as we did in our previous video, for starting a WordPress website, we created a MySQL container and then we linked the MySQL container with a WordPress container that we created and that was a long list of commands that we need to type like running the Docker, linking the container with another container, exposing the ports and defining which container that we're going to run and what is the name of the containers, which was kind of nagging because if you keep on typing so many commands like this, the maintainability of your commands and remembering those commands is kind of very, very hard. So in order to overcome all these problems, Docker Compose come into picture. So the Compose is also great for development, testing and staging environment and also for the CI workflows. So Docker Compose also manages the services of your application. So Docker Compose commands helps to start, stop and rebuild the services and it also helps to view the status, logs and running services of your application. For instance, if you see in our previous video, we started each and every containers by looking at the container ID by typing the docker ps a and we got the container ID, we pasted that and we then checked how the service is running by checking the docker logs and the container ID which was kind of pain because if you want to see each and every containers log then you have to go over each and every container IDs paste that and then perform the operation whereas in docker compose it's very very simple all you have to do is docker hyphen compose logs and if you hit that you'll get the logs of everything and if you want to see the logs of a particular service then you can give the name of the service that's it you don't really have to get the container ID and then pass that for the logs and perform the operation. Similarly, if you want to stop all the linked services or linked containers in a single shot, then you can use the Docker Compose stop, it will completely stop. So we will discuss about how all these things are happening in our upcoming videos as well. Well, Docker as a continuous integration, how is that working? As I already said, an important part of any continuous development or continuous integration process is the automated test suite. Automated end-to-end -end testing requires an environment in which to run the tests. Compose provides a convenient way to create and destroy the isolated testing environments for your test suite. So if you have already watched a video series which is released exclusively on Docker containers for Selenium Grid in our Exit Automation channel, you will understand like how we can execute a Selenium automated test on multiple different browsers running in multiple different containers. So in order to stop all these containers in a single shot and also starting those containers in a single shot, Docker Compose is very very handy. So what is this Compose file? We have been talking about this Docker Compose files, right? So how is that going to look like? Well, the Compose file is a configuration file where you define all the different stuffs we perform on a command line, as I already said, in a PowerShell, into an file. But you can do more than what you can do in a command line as well. So the file is basically an YAML file, or the extension is .yml file. So how is this file going to look like? This looks something like this. As you can see in the YAML file, there is something called as version, and it is 2 for now. So in the earlier versions of YAML file for Docker Compose, there was no versions of course, but currently they have introduced a version. So it's version 2 
and there is the list of services so if you have the 10 different services then you can just define all the services within this yaml file remember in our previous video we were talking about linking two different containers which is nothing but the wordpress container and the mysql container so we are doing exactly the same thing right here as you can see here wordpress is the name of the service and the image is wordpress remember we pulled from the docker hub the image wordpress that's exactly it is and then the port and the port is something like 8080 colon 80 which is you are which you're going to expose to the outside world and the environment is the wordpress db password which is abcd123 and similarly the mysql service and you give all the details for it so yaml files basically contains whatever command that you gave for starting those two containers and linking those two containers that exactly is going to happen right here in your yaml file so let's start working with it then and understand how the docker compose command is going to look like so for that i'm going to flip to powershell so i'm just going to navigate to the powershell and then let's see how the docker compose looks like so you don't really have to specifically install something on docker compose into your machine because the docker for windows actually has the docker compose available out of the box so i'm just going to type docker hyphen compose and if you just type hyphen hyphen help remember in our previous videos we we're discussing about docker hyphen hyphen help and this time we're going to use docker hyphen compose hyphen hyphen help and if i hit enter you can see it shows you the list of help features or commands available in the docker compose and you can see it has a command like build which is nothing but building and rebuilding the services and there is something called bundle which generates a docker bundle for the compose file configurations and mostly we will be using some of the commands like this the locks the ports ps list all the containers pull and remove and start and stop so these are some of the commands and of course the up the create and start the container so these are some of the commands which are very very handy and you can see that these commands will basically talks about something like service not a particular container as we saw in our docker it is talking about service so it's going to stop and start a group of or a bunch of services running in multiple containers so for instance if you want to see what is the different kinds of uh, services currently running in my docker compose you can just type docker hyphen compose ps and hit enter you can see that there will be different kinds of services available but currently it is also saying an information that can't find a suitable configuration file in this particular directory are you in the right directory so it says that basically within this directory c colon slash user slash kartik there is no such docker hyphen compose dot yaml file available in this particular location so if you want to specify a location of the yaml file you can also do that basically that is also available as a option here hyphen f and the file name if you specify that you can locate a yaml file of the docker compose located in a different location instead of the directory that you are working with right so in our next video we'll be talking a greater detail about how to work with the docker compose file and how to start the wordpress site once again as we did in our previous video all right guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day